Hello, it's Flo for hot to come Today I will show you how to unlock the bootloader for your HTC One S, then how to install the recovery and how to root your HTC One S. First thing is to go to htcdev.com. You have to register or just log in if you have already uh, created an account. So let's go to htcdev.com. The link is on my description. Then you have to go to unlock bootloader here and you can click on get started. Your phone must be connected by charge only here. Then you have to check van on power. Fastbook must be unchecked and on developer options you must have checked USB debugging mode. Okay, so then you can power off your phone and let's go to power off in the uh, supported devices you must select all other supported models because HTC One S is not on this list then you have to begin unlock bootloader a message must arrive and he said unlocking your device may void all or part of your warranty so be careful about that and Unlocking the bootloader will delete all personal data from your device. So, you must have saved all your device on your di uh, disk drive and save it on your computer. Then you can click on yes. Okay, it's loading. And then there is legal terms. On legal terms, you can check these two different parts. It's about warranty and uh, I acknowledge that if my device requires repairs, HTC may charge for additional costs due to the unlock bootloader. And then you can proceed to unlock instructions. You don't have to remove and reinsert the battery because on the HTC One S you can't do that. So then you just have to press the volume down button here and power button. Then just continue to press volume down and your phone must start on bootloader mode ok so you can see that you have fastbook recovery, factory reset, clear storage, sim lock and image step 3 with volume button you can just select up or down you must go to fastboot here and then click to uh, to power button to select that no, you are on fastboot and it's connected. Step 4, just here, is connect the device to the computer via USB cable. It's done. And you can proceed to step 5. And looking for other instruction. Step 5. On your computer, create a new folder, for example, C Android, where we will be putting the following three files in this new folder. So, agb.x igbwinap.gll and fastboot.exe So to find these files, run the SDK manager which is found in Android SDK Windows So I am here on Android SDK window and I must find uh, these three different, uh, three different uh, files So I must just go to tools for example and I must find agb dot exe agb ap uh, agb win ap dot gll and fastboot dot x here i can copy it and then i just have to okay to um shit excuse me so i just have to go to c and then here i can create a new file and i have to named it Android ok and let's go on this new file and you have to paste your three different files as here ok uh, wait about three minutes you will see there are many packages you can update please install Android SDK uh, platform tools and Android SDK tools I already have done that and after you have installed this, you will be able to find the files in the following locations. Um, look in Android SDK Platform Tools and Android SDK. Okay, 
not fast boot dot uh, x may be available in the last windows android tool okay platform fast boot and you can download it step six open up command prompt start run type cmg so you must have downloaded that and install the android sdk i have the version 11 and but it's available with all other version here is the version 13 uh, here <coughs> excuse me oh uh, so let's go to start by execute the cmg here okay and you must navigate to c uh, to c cd so you can just uh, navigate to where you unzipped the zip file and go to the folder you just have created okay so cg c two point and g slash uh, and android sdk windows okay so i just have to check something here android android sdk okay so you must be on the uh, android before android sdk i think yes uh see android when you will okay so maybe it's not here but okay see uh, okay i will try that i'm not sure but what i do is good fast boot oem get underscore identifier underscore token so i have just been placed on my uh, c before the android sdk windows okay sorry okay so fast boot is not here so i have to to go to cg two point um c two point slash uh android is gk windows and then i will try first boot oem get underscore identifier underscore token okay first boot is not here so okay cd c double point backslash okay so Okay, so I have just uh, moved my my files uh, agb dot x agb win ape dot gll and fastboot dot x on the c android file cre created. Uh, to to find this file, I have installed Android SDK K and I have just uh, installed it, and this is the version even. So then I have to launch. Uh, the command this one and to do that you must go to start execute and you must uh, just press cmg and enter then you have this finister uh, this window now you can just um, just write cg c two point backslash android and here are your folder with uh, three different phase Ag, uh, files agb agb win ape and fastboot um, then you can just write this sentence fastboot oem get underscore identifier underscore token okay so it's working and finished in time 064 seconds you will see a long block of text. Copy and pass this text into the uh, token file below in the command prompt. Right click, mark, highlight the block of text. Right click to copy. You will see one of the following two screens. Okay, so I must do that. Just open it like that. And I have to please get the following message. Identifier. Okay. Click. Uh, select and I have to select it then click oh shit select okay uh -huh. uh, click mark I like the plus right click to copy okay so it's copy then uh, I have to do that and when copy the token start this with this line 
and end with this line token and and token star okay so i have done that and step 10 pass this string of text into the token file and it submit in order to receive your unlock code binary file so i have to enter the token identifier token start all numbers and in the identifier token end and i have to submit it token submitted successfully you have been sent an email with your unlock key as a file attachment please review this email for further instruction and a link to complete the bootloader process so i just go to my gmail here and i have received an email i will show you that okay so how can i show you that uh, maybe like that okay okay like that it's okay i flow uh, attached in this email is your unlock bootloader k file to use this file to unlock your device, simply follow the remaining instruction of the website to complete the process and successfully unlock your bootloader. Please remember that unlocking your bootloader may void and all of or parts of your warranty and your device may not function as intended by HTC. Unlocking the bootloader is for development purpose only. Click here to continue the bootloader unlock processing. So I click here. Please don't reply to this email, which is auto sent. Okay, so I have a new window. Step step eleven. You will receive an email with the attachment uh, attachment unlock code bin. So I have to download it here, and I have to see that and just copy it. Um, open a new window. Okay, so modify V and unlock okay i just have to patch it on my new file okay um that 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 and i have to copy it here okay so i have saved my unlock code bin um okay save this file in the same folder as your first boot okay here uh, if after a short period of time you have not yet received the email, uh -huh, in order to ensure that you will save the email with the attachment we suggest you. Okay, step 12. In the command prompt time, uh, fa uh, fast boot flash. Okay, so let's go to to command. Okay, fast boot flash unlock token unlock underscore code dot bin in the prompt command okay so i have something like that finished in oh, 153 seconds step three on your phone oh yes on my phone i have that it's so cool on your phone you will now see the disclaimer please read this carefully as this section may void your warranty, okay? Unlocking the bootloader allows you to install a custom operating system. A custom OS is not tested as uh, thoroughly as your original ROM, and your device may be of a normal abnormality. This action may void your warranty, etc. etc. Yes, unlock bootloader may void your warranty, and I try to check it, but press the okay press the volume button to select yes or no then press power button so i select yes and i press volume button and let's go wow step 14 to relock your bootloader in the command prompt type fastboot okay to relock your bootloader you can do that by fastboot or em lock okay uh, this will not restore the factory default lock but will simply relock the bootloader so no further change can be made. Furthermore, if you want to unlock your bootloader again, simply repeat step 12 with your original unlock key file to unlock your phone. You are ready to go! Congratulations, you have successfully unlocked your bootloader. Browse this site to further simple codes, example, and types. Okay, so now I can install the recovery so 
to do that I must go here and on that then uh, what must I do I must go uh, so uh, I must download the Android SDK SDK I already have done that and let's go for a new video about how to install the recovery